Okay, so we're putting a fuel pump on a four escape. And to do that, they give you a nice access panel directly beneath the driver's side rear seat. You can see the panel, four screws, like Phillips screws, and I'm trying to fold this piece up out of the way here. I'm just going to tuck the seat belt behind it. So, Once you get the screws out, you can gently lift the access panel up and there's a wiring harness that is attached to the underside of it. You want to be careful when you're pulling on it, if you can see this. Now let's see, do I have, nope, they did not give me a plug on the body. So, I'm going to do my best to get this out of the way. And the problem is, this is, here's a plug-in for the fuel pump. Push down on this tab. And then you can, oh, there we go. Now I got that wiring harness out of there. I should be able to pull enough wire to get that off to the side. This is a plug-in for the fuel pump itself. So you just push down on the release, wiggle it apart. Now I am gonna check for power and ground at the fuel pump before I pull the pump out to make sure I don't have a wiring issue. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to put a test relay in where the fuel pump relay goes. This way I can, and this is the fuel pump relay location on these escapes right there. I'm going to put a test relay in there. And then I have to turn a key on. And you can do this without a test relay. You just have to have somebody to cycle the key for you. Uh, and I'm actually, I'm gonna take this fan relay out just so this fan isn't running the whole time. I'll set that right there. Now, I'll turn the key on. And if you have somebody that can cycle the key for you, you can test it that way too. And then I'm gonna turn the relay on. And I am using a power probe. You can use, you could use a multimeter. It'll give you the same. We're just gonna That's my ground. There's my power. Okay. Well, we'll shut the relay off. We'll shut the key off. Shut that door. We'll put our relays back in here. At least that one. I'm going to leave that relay out so that here in a minute I can, when I put the new fuel pump in, I can double check everything. Now, this is for the EVAP system. I'm going to disconnect it because I'm going to need it out of the way to put the pump in. And come on.
now with those two unplugged, I can take the cover plate and kind of wiggle it a little farther out of my way. Get all the wiring out of my way. We have another quick a quick connect on this fuel line. There's two tabs on the underside. You push in and back, and it'll release the fuel line. And there's no, there isn't any pressure in this. Well, maybe there's a little bit, but there isn't much pressure in this system. It's all mainly just leftover fuel. Now, I'm going to get a shop vac, and I'm going to pull, scrape all this dirt loose, and then I'm going to use a shop vac to get it out of here because I don't want, I, I don't want any more of that than going into the tank than is absolutely unavoidable. Now this thing is loud. <laughs> Fair, be, be warned. pan to put the pump in take this I'm gonna set it down underneath the drain pan to keep any crap off the bottom of the drain pan off their carpeting but you definitely need a drainer in here get the power probe out of there that way when you take that pump out it is going to dribble gas there's no way around it oh, small pry bar and whoop, a hammer I need to go counterclockwise. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little plastic cap right over the end of the fuel line. That way it doesn't spit fuel everywhere. And our lock ring needs to go counterclockwise to get it out. is out now set that off to the side and then I'll loosen up any more of this crap that was stuck under the lock ring and I'm going to pull it out with the vacuum one more time just to make sure none of it goes into the tank is where it gets nasty you're gonna to have to reach down into the tank and there are locking tabs on either side of the pump assembly you release the locking tabs and then you can wiggle the pump up and out of the piece in the bottom of the tank that actually holds it in place and make sure to note the location of the float which it is over toward the passenger side and you're going to have to very carefully work it out oh there we go of the tank and it is going to be draining fuel the whole time so try not to get any fuel on the interior of the vehicle in the process pickup screen is on the driver's side actually I 
said, try not to get... You can see this. Okay. The old one is out. I don't see any debris in the bottom of the tank. Time to install the new one. Wiggle the float in first, and then the be careful not to damage the fuel level sender and the, the filter sock goes in next, and then you work the okay, and we get the, the float back over on the passenger side of the tank. that back into the piece in the bottom of the tank and it push down and it'll snap in place just like that uh, now shoot there's a new o-ring that comes with it that I should have put on before I drop the pump in This is it right here. So we're going to very carefully remove the old one. Take a rag and clean up any dirt that is in the groove where the o-ring sits suck out the last little dirt boogers Put our new o-ring around the top of the pump very carefully make sure not to cut it and then ah, get back up here we'll drop it and get get it down in the o-ring groove make sure it's nice and even in the groove all the way around and then we can fit the top of our pump down in place on top of it Make sure everything is nice and tight and the o-ring is not protruding. I'll go get my locking tab. Okay, so make sure the o-ring is still there. Get the locking tab in. And it's going to go clockwise to lock it down. Come on. My pump is sticking up now. There we go. Now, locking tab drops in just like that. The locking ring drops in. Get it started. Make sure it's started all the way around. Okay. And then just tap it back into place.
there we go and you can see it's locked back in where it was before double check that looks like it go a little bit farther we'll see if we can get it there sometimes you have to work your way around it that's as far as she's gonna go now take our cap off we're gonna our fuel line slides right back on just like that push our push your locking tab in place make sure it's snapped down all the way put our fuel pump connector on and then we're gonna plug our evap connector on okay get this out of the vehicle 